Hey guys, wait, Bosch Cypress here. Uh, I've got the good stuff, the 2004 Bowman Sterling packs, as well as the Topps Retired Baseball. I'm going to probably do all these in one video. So first we'll start with the four packs of Bowman Sterling. You can see right on there they have a uh, retail price of $29.99. Um, these were only sold in hobby stores, they weren't actually sold in retail. Um, but the whole idea was for uh, those of us that buy packs that you would get just one pack set up like this, um, which was kind of nice. So I believe we're looking at an auto, a jersey, and I'm not sure what else. Um, but looking for Felix Hernandez, Delman Young right on the back. Matt Markey, Eric Hurley, Juan Pierre Bat Card. And an autographed jersey, that's a good one. Delman Young, autographed bat piece, now playing for the Detroit Tigers that just lost the World Series. Very nice card. Delman Young, autographed bat piece, plus a Juan Pierre. So that looks like to uh, be the correlation, one mem, one autograph mem. There's also buybacks in here um, of retired guys. Or not retired guys, uh, current stars. I believe Alex Rodriguez autographs are in here. Uh, lots of goodies. So I'm going to not look at the back because the back is the autograph. Zach Jackson. Zach Duke. I guess I got to sort these cards. Pokey Reese, I remember you played a year with the Mariners. Bat card. And Scott Olson. Ooh. Glad that wasn't a Felix Hernandez. Scott Olson, autograph jersey card. That is not numbered. The other good part about when they sell single packs like this is everybody thinks they're packs are, but these, these can't really be. Um, oops, I already saw the autograph on the back. Uh, current player, David De Jesus, so I'll bring that to the front. David De Jesus, autographed jersey. That's got a lot of dirt there. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's always cool to have the dirt. All right. Oh, wow, very nice. Fausto Carmona, refractor rookie. That's, and a, wow, two refractors. Kazushiti Tadano. Where's the Fausto? Just a base. BSFC. No, never mind. I guess that's just a base. It's just a different colored base than the standard silver background. This, however, is a refractor of Kazushito Tadano. And the mem card is Jeff Bagwell. Very cool, Jeff Bagwell. So the Kazushito Tadano is numbered 194 out of 199. See, all the rest of the base I've gotten look like that, plus that one looks like that. So I'll have to check into that. But. We'll keep on going. You remember not to look on the back of these. Oh, okay, so that is just a base because there's a JP Howell and a Justin Oren Druff. A refractor bat piece of Pokey Reese. <laughs> Pokey Reese hot packs. All right. And very nice autograph autograph bat piece of BJ Upton. That's a rookie bat autograph of BJ. Very very nice. I like that. All right, finished on a high note. Uh, Pokey Reese is numbered nine out of one ninety nine. FYI, 
uh, just in case you guys cared. So uh, pretty nice with the BJ up and that, uh, I believe that card's selling pretty darn well. Obviously, I'm more of a pitcher's collector. I don't really collect many guys, many hitters. Um, now we've got this stuff, the Topps Retired Baseball. I'll do the three packs of 2005 first. Um, so there's going to be an uncirculated autograph in every single pack of a Topps Retired Legend. Um, there's 120 guys who signed for 2005, and I think 72 that signed for 2004. Uh, so I'll start with 2005, and then we'll go to 2004. So think of this as Bowman Signature Edition, but with retired guys uh, instead of rookies. And the uncirculated is on the back, I believe, so I'm going to type that. Alright, Brian Cashman. Cool card. Bob Gibson. Bill Mazeroski, a gold card. Of Robin Yount. That's numbered to something. We will we'll see shortly. And the autograph. Uh, Jim Longboard. I don't have an autograph of him, so uh, that'll go into the pitcher's PC. Very nice. Had some very nice years for the Philadelphia Phillies. Played in the 60s and 70s. He could be dead by now. He was born in 42. And make him 70. I guess he's not that old. I take that back. Sorry about that, Jim Longboard. I don't know a whole host about him. Uh, played a little bit before my time. The Yount is number to 500. So it looks like they took the standard Topps base set in here and made those as base cards uh, for this set. Kind of an interesting touch. but uh, Alright, moving on. You'll get some interesting autographs out of here. Uh... There is, of course, the the high-end guys, um, like the Group A list, Tom Seaver, Bob Gibson, Ernie Banks, Johnny Bench, Nolan Ryan, Stan Musial, Whitey Ford, Yogi Berra. Then you have Group B, Reggie Jackson. They even have a Brian Cashman, uh, Bo Jackson, whole host of guys. You have dual autographs in here. Oh, wow. So the there's an uncirculated sticker here, but this time they close the base cards into the sticker. So I have to unstick these. Well, that will actually prove out nicely. There's a base card, a uh, crane pole, numbered to 500. And then I will flip this over so to reveal our autograph. Ah, very nice. Mike Queller. I actually have an autograph of this guy, um, but I think this might be an upgrade for me. Very, very nice. Uh, very, very Hall of Fame pitcher, I believe. He's the 1969 uh, Cy Young Award winner. Uh, had multiple, multiple seasons uh, with a sub-3 ERA. Finished his career with a 3.14 ERA and 185 wins. So that's a very nice one. Uh, so, so far, two hits for the uh, PC. The pitcher's PC. I'll just have to move my other mic color. <laughs> I don't know how to say his name either. Again, born before my, or uh, played before I was born by quite a few years. So Travis Fryman is the uh, gold card number to 500. Then you just have base here. Ernie Banks, Lou Brock, Neen Fowler, and the autograph. Who is that? Robin Craig, Roger Craig. Very nice. I'm a fan of all of these. <laughs> So 
So he's a manager, obviously. Interesting. All right, now we will move on to the four packs of the 2004 version of this stuff. There's a smaller autograph list, which is why I uh, decided to make this the last stuff to end on. In my opinion, this this here has the biggest potential uh, to have big, big stuff. Let's open it up. Base cards there. Very, very similar design. And the Dodgers. Mari Wills. Very nice. On card autograph, all of these are, of course. Very, very nice. Phenomenal hitter back in the day. Beautiful. These are absolutely gorgeous. Keep on moving on. Let's see if we can get a Willie Mays. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Nice Willie Mays autograph. Let's see, the uh, Group A for this year was Cal Ripken Jr., Nolan Ryan, Carl, Carl Yastrzemski, Robin Yount. Group B was Henry Aaron, Hank Aaron, Ernie Banks, Stan Musial, Duke Snyder, Johnny Bench, Yogi Mora, Yogi Berra, Whitey Ford, Bob Gibson. He's got all of this stuff. You also have dual autographs uh, featuring Willie Mays on cards. This is a Tigers player. Slowly revealed down this way. It's a hitter. Alan Trammell. Very nice. Another great hitter. Everybody's just good out of this product. What can I say? Alan Trammell. Shortstop. Very nice. Alright. Still have two packs left. Well, he was an outfielder, and again, you have this issue with the uh, sticker. So it looks like these were the base cards were inserted before they actually sealed. Well, I can't actually pull them off, so we're just going to reveal. Uh, Ron Kittle, outfielder. I don't know a whole lot about Ron Kittle, got to be honest. Um, He hit 239 for his career with 176 home runs. All in all, uh, not a phenomenal career, but uh, still a good looking card, and uh, I don't think you're going to see a lot of Ron Kittle autographs out there. Maybe there's a Ron Kittle super collector. Maybe it's Ron Kittle himself. In the 80s and 90s. Last pack of the day. Oops, I already saw. Bill Buckner is the autograph. First baseman for the uh, Red Sox, it looks like. Played a hell of a long time. Played from 1969 to 1990. Played for the Dodgers, Cubs, the Red Sox, the Angels, and the Royals and the Red Sox. Again. Hit 289 for his career, 174 home runs total. Wow. 
certainly did play for his fair share of time. And again, you have this issue with the attachment of the cards. Bill Buckner, first baseman. It's really nice. I got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Hall of Famer autographs. Well, okay, mostly Hall of Famer. Uh, the Longborg I don't have. Queller, Craig, uh, Mari Wills, Alan Trammell, very nice one there. Ron Kittle, Bill Buckner, a um, couple of gold cards. Bat pieces, the Delman Young autograph bat. Uh, all in all, fun break. Anyway, guys, appreciate it, and I will talk to you later.